Fam, it's 2023 and we are resetting this new year, calling it 2020 Me, and talking to people who leveled up their lives by putting themselves first. Now, my next guests not only rise up and make their passions a priority, they even take the phrase, keep on climbing, literally. Follow me here now. Jason and Taylor Burks have always loved the outdoors. They met at a rock climbing event and even got engaged on top of a mountain. But after they, is that beautiful? But after they got married in 2019, they took their passion to new heights, dedicating their first year of marriage to some extreme outdoor goals. They left their home in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and set out on a 12,000 mile road trip across 11 states, stopping for adventure after adventure, skydiving, climbing down into caves, parasailing, off-roading, and Summiting three of the country's most challenging mountains, Grand Teton in Wyoming, Mount Whitney in California, and other places that I can't pronounce because I'm too afraid to go that high. <laughs> the year tested their skills, their strength, and their marriage. And all the ups and downs are documented in a new series, Love on the Rocks. Take a look. Everyone's always told me the first year of marriage is the most difficult. If we can make it through this road trip in our first year of marriage, we can make it through anything. In the clip, you talk about the first year of marriage and you talk about the challenges. You know, marriages, yeah. they say it's hard work. Um, climbing and the adventures, how does that balance the hard work? I did, you know, I didn't get married till I was 35. Uh -huh. And I think you, everyone has all those friends that are like, oh, marriage is so much work. Marriage is difficult. And I think that it's funny. So for me, like the climbing stuff, like I think that's pretty easy because I know exactly what to expect with yeah. climbing. And I think for me, the, the greater challenge is probably like finding someone to fall in love with, but I got them both in the last couple of years. Yes. So, Aww, that's, so, that's, that's so, sweet. so that's So that's nice. <laughs> so you met at a rock climbing event. So you yes. at least knew you had that base level uh, <laughs> interest, right? Yes. But then you decide together, I'm assuming, that <laughs> just going to the local gym to rock climb was not enough you needed to take this in a whole nother direction. This is like the ultimate trust fall? It really is like the ultimate <laughs> trust fall. I mean, literally, you're entrusting your life with your partner. So you have to really know you can trust them and rely on them when you get into tough situations. And I think it was like the ultimate way to push through that like first year of marriage. Like, do I trust you? Because you have to. <laughs> because you're like, you are tethered to one another. Yeah. I have a clip. Uh, you're in Washington State at Mount Baker. Let's play this. We made the decision, or I made the decision, to stay connected to each other. But that is a significant decision in which you really have to think it through. But I can't even imagine the idea of Taylor losing her footing and sliding down that mountain and me just watching it. So I'm sitting there thinking, if she's going to fall and slide, I'm going with her anyways. <laughs> I mean, you know, when, when you have those marriage vows, you know, to love, to and good and bad, they should put to tether and fall down ice. <laughs> they you know, like, should. If you can't I love mean, me, that would through... really make you think about saying yes. <laughs> it does. I, I was on a radio show last year, and I told how I was engaged to a guy. We went out in the water. My thing broke. I flew out in the ocean, and he stayed on the boat. <laughs> And I broke up with him. And you know who yes, you are. <laughs> and I broke up with him. I called. No, but seriously, I called off the engagement because I was like, you can swim and I'm out here floundering and you didn't jump in. And no, at no point in his eye did he even look like he was debating jumping in. 
<laughs> but you understand with the yeah. rock climbing what that means that someone ha ultimately yeah. has your life in their hands. And yeah, things. that situation was actually very real. That was no overproducing there. Like when we were climbing that wall, uh, I was actually more nervous about it than she was. But there's a lot of different ways to do it. And most people wouldn't do it with two people. Most people would do it with three people. And I was going, well, if, you know, exactly what I said, if I leave the rope, I have a chance of saving her, but then we both die if we fall and go oh. into a crevasse. <laughs> So it was, it was a I lot of thought. I didn't realize that was a thing. You didn't know. Time. That's why I wasn't nervous. I didn't tell her. She didn't know all the details, but. Uh... So Taylor's like, I learned on TV. Yes, yeah. I did. This is what was going to yeah, happen. When we were going down and I saw the crevasse, that's when I got nervous. And I'm like, oh, that's the thing you were talking about that we yeah. fall into. Oh, my God. Well, up next, Jason and Taylor learned about marriage while climbing some of America's toughest mountains. But first, meet some women who are starting off 2020 me on a mountain high. None of them are mountain climbers, but all prioritize discovering more about themselves and having adventures along the way. Take a look. I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro with a group of 13 other women. We call ourselves Sisters to the Summit. All of us went up there with a question of, am I really fulfilled? What is my purpose? To reach the top, it's indescribable. Our goal as a group is to really show that we shouldn't be limiting ourselves to places that we're comfortable with. Our next trip, we're going to Antarctica. The whole world is here for us to explore. I do think anyone can climb the mountain, but you have to be strong in your belief that you can climb the mountain. I thought it was a zip line. Yeah, didn't know if I wanted to do it. You're on this thin little line with two clips beside you and you have to walk across that line that's like over this canyon. Keep on climbing, that's the message today. And it's a mantra that Jason and Taylor Burks live by. We've been talking with them about that they spent the first year of their marriage chasing extreme outdoor challenges on a 12,000 mile road trip. Where were you tightrope walking? That was in Arkansas. That was in Arkansas. Yes. Yep, at a place called Horseshoe Canyon Ranch. And I did not realize we were doing that, hence my reaction to oh, that. Wait, so do you have like a bucket and you just pull things out? How do you pick what you're gonna do? We were just trying to, you know, orchestrate our way around the US and, and do things that would challenge us, which I think was kind of another point is like, you know, be vulnerable, challenge yourself, grow together, hopefully don't kill each other. So well, that's a good goal. That's a good list. I do a crime show. Don't do that as part. Yeah. Um, you celebrated your third anniversary, August 17th. Yes. And uh, two and a half years. Yeah. You know, what is your advice? So as I said, 2023, 2020 me, but when you are a couple, it's it's difficult, you know, to have those moments. How, what is your advice? It's still early on in the relationship and marriage, but you've been through a lot. What's your mm -hmm. advice to have that me time, but that we together time? You are two individuals. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be two healthy individuals to have a healthy marriage. And part of that is pushing yourself to grow. And I think that's what this entire trip did. I think, you know, we like to be selfish, but I think in marriage you have to be willing to put the other person first. And it's funny when two people put each other first, it's beautiful. Yeah. But like our culture doesn't always encourage that today. So it's like, I think that's something that we're still learning, but it's awesome because when two people put each other first, it's like, it's amazing. And you still get to have yourself and each other. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Well, Jason Taylor, thank you so much. And you can check out Love on the Rocks on Outside TV on most streaming platforms. And thank you to all of our guests today, Kenya, Lacey. Thank you to the TAM fam. Keep watching. Go to our social media. Let us know how you're living your 2023, 2020 me.